Welcome to the wild and thrilling world of the Bacon Bandits. For the past 13 years, this tight-knit crew of friends from northwestern Ontario has been embarking on epic paddling trips that define the meaning of adventure. Join us as we dive into the heart of the wilderness, paddling through pristine waters, discovering uncharted territories, and encountering breathtaking wildlife. Get ready to be captivated by the camaraderie, the challenges, and the unforgettable moments that make each expedition a true testament to the spirit of exploration. So we find ourselves at the mouth of the Butte Inlet. Today's gonna be a day for exploring, fishing, there's some pictographs, gonna have a good time. And then probably towards this evening, start heading back, find a nice island to camp on. You can never be too safe on packaging, <laughs> packaging bacon. Add a little bit of fiber, right? When there's no uh, refrigeration, yeah, it gets a little loose. Right she slimed out of the package. <laughs> I wanna see your bacon washing uh, pot. Okay, I need a separate spot for this bacon to go. Yeah, so if it. you look closely, it's working quite well. All that healthy debris coming from these trees. And Barb, your scalloped potatoes are <laughs> So it's been a long, lazy morning. Uh, a rest well needed, but now we are off. We're going to explore some inlets, um, look for some First Nations pictographs, and mosey on to our next campsite. Hopefully, get some fishing in too. So, let's go. Day three, we're in for an adventure. It's a beaut. Inlet is renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty, surrounded by majestic coastal mountains, dense forests and pristine waters. The few George's towering cliffs and snow-capped peaks create a dramatic and awe-inspiring landscape. The area surrounding Beat Inlet has a rich indigenous history, with First Nations communities having inhabited the region for thousands of years. The First Nations people have a deep connection to the land and waters, and their cultural heritage is woven into the fabric of the inlet's history. So we've been paddling about an hour, hour and a half. Then we went for a quick little uh, trail break. And we're off again. Like I said, it was a bit of a late start today. You don't have to go too far today. Um, I'd like to... Um, get to our campsite on uh, an island about 15-20 kilometers ahead. There are supposed to be pictographs along the way. So hopefully we uh, catch a glimpse of those as well. Okay, so we were just coming out of the bay and there's pictographs marked somewhere along the shoreline. So we kayaked the entire shoreline, didn't see anything, but we found a couple of man-made objects. One looks like a steel anchor of some kind and the other's a rock leading up to the face there. So we parked our kayaks here on shore. We're gonna go head up that rock face there and see if we can find anything. This has been my favorite, like this last day, just like coming around this day. So calm. It's like super old bear shit. Not that old actually. A little bit of a seafood diet. All right, no dice on this pictograph. Where you at, Sam? Okay. Well, uh, there's supposed to be another one nearby, so we'll look for that one. Okay, so we just, we weren't able to find a pictograph. James has a big fish on, we're not sure what it is. And there's a humpback we can hear that seems to be coming towards us, but no one's seen it yet. So I guess one thing at oh. a time, we'll go check out James's fish. Is that a link cod? Yeah. Nice. Nice catch. Catch of the day, catch of the trip so far. 
So that whale passed right under us. Um, it was right after James caught that link cod and he's he kind of blew right by us. So it's in the direction we're going. Maybe we'll see him again. In a serendipitous moment, a lone humpback whale gracefully joins their paddling expedition, curiously swimming around the kayaks. As the friends marvel at the majestic creature, their awe deepens when two more humpbacks emerge, creating an enchanting spectacle of synchronized swimming. Together, the trio weaves through the kayaks, creating a once-in-a-lifetime experience before bidding a majestic farewell, leaving the friends in awe of the wonders beneath the waves. So right now I'm watching three humpbacks. Incredibly, we saw originally one whale, then very shortly after, there was two other ones that joined. The other guys left and me and Nathan just kind of floated around just to see um, what would happen. And we were in the middle of it all. They swam right by us and we just kind of floated and watched everything unfold before our eyes. Yeah, it's getting to that time where uh, we better get to camp. I'm sure the boys um, have already started building their tents and hopefully someone's fishing anyways because me and Nathan certainly aren't. Anyways, we'll see which site. Let's go. We're at camp. We're having KDA and hot dogs. It's been a super eventful day, as you've probably seen in the footage at this point. And uh, yeah, just gonna be hanging out for us tonight. So the snow's coming up <laughs> under the fly and then just snowed on me all night. Serves you right for bringing that shit tent though. I know, and then the sleeping pad went flat. So now it's time for a uh, second course here. Drink a little whiskey, we're feeling good. Had some KD and now we got the ballpark dogs. <laughs> I didn't know it was on. Uh, so we got hot dogs being made here. Getting a little silly. <laughs> Classic meat to bun ratio is key. And pristine of the bun. These are day three buns. Day three bun of <laughs> In on a kayak trip. They're That's being, impressive. It is. Being shoved into little hatches. Who who's taking care of them? I have. Treat like my own dogs. Hot dogs that is. Basically, yeah, you've already seen what they've gone through with the whirlpools. <laughs> I, I know you won't understand being at home, but the amount of time I spent holding the shape of these, they survived a whirlpool attack. And so, under the canvas of the night sky, the Bacon Bandits concluded another epic day of their journey, a day filled with laughter, challenges, and the pure joy of adventure. For these friends, the journey is not just about conquering waters, but about conquering life together, one paddle stroke at a time. You guys got the uh, kayaks tied up? Mine's tied up. 
All right. Sam, I need some shampoo tomorrow. I, I think I smell it. Oh, you, you can ask me when you do your white whale. Are you not going to do it too? I'll do it. <laughs> we're all There's a it. group of them out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.